Hey there, Scanifliers. As you know, Scanifly combines the best of three different technologies, drones, 3D mapping, and 3D modeling. Our platform's foundation is rooted in the 3D built environment, where all structures are to scale and virtual replicas, so you can do some really cool things, like exporting to SketchUp. So in this video, I'll show you how to get your Scanifly projects into SketchUp. So let's dive right in. This 3D mapped environment was created using 159 drone images with a flight time of only eight minutes. Since we already added modules, setbacks, and keepouts, I'm going to load my save changes to get started. Now we had some fun adding vegetation from the 3D model library. Just to note, there's also an option to import custom 3D models if you can't find what you need in the library. This is great for fusing that 3D mapped built environment with those proposed structures, such as building additions, custom racking structures, etc. To export from Scanifly, just go to the Exports dropdown, hover over CAD, and you'll notice a few different options here. Now, since we're exporting to SketchUp, we want the DXF file or an STL file. The DXF file is just a wireframe and, and does not include the surface. The STL file includes the wireframe and the surface, so that makes it a 3D surface model. For this example, I have already downloaded the STL file, the 3D wireframe DXF, and the 2D wireframe DXF. Okay, so let's, let's start with the STL file first. In SketchUp, go to File and Import. Find the STL file you would like to import. Now, before importing, select Options and make sure that the scale is correct. For this example, the units should be set to meters, and they are, that's great. So let's select Accept, and let's import the STL file. Okay, and there you have it. There is a 3D model that was exported from Scanifly and imported into SketchUp. Now you can edit this 3D model if you like. So let's extrude one of these obstructions here. Looks good. <laughs> let's put that down just a bit. You could also remove any surfaces and polylines here as well. So for this tree, just remove some of that here to see the inside. Pretty cool. Let's remove that. Okay, so now before moving on and importing this into SketchUp layout, let's make sure that the the scale is correct here. So let's use the measuring tool and let's measure the ridge. And let's see, 15.53 meters. Now let's go back to Scanifly and let's turn on the dimension layer. So it looks like the ridge here, 15.53, looks good. Looks like the scale is correct. Perfect. Okay, so let's import this into layout. So let's go to File and Send to Layout. Save that project. Open Layout and let's select a title block here. Okay, there we are. So let's double click here. Adjust the view. Make sure that's in orthographic projection there. Center that. Click outside of the viewport and let's move this one. Perfect, looks good. Okay, so let's import those DXF files into SketchUp. When exporting a 2D and 3D wireframe DXF from Scanifly, you'll notice that in each folder there are three files. The first is the DXF, that's the wireframe. The second is a JPEG, it's the satellite image tile. And the third is another JPEG, which is the drone data created orthomosaic map. Now this is an up-to-date map that you can easily import into SketchUp. Let's import the 3D wireframe DXF. So let's make sure the file type is correct. Let's make sure the units are correct and select the file to import. Okay, so now we have the 3D wireframe. This includes the modules, fire setbacks, obstructions, 
create setbacks from those obstructions as well as the vegetation that we've added before. Let's import the 2D wireframe. File type is correct, and the units are also correct. Okay, let's just move that over. So notice that the 2D wireframe imports as a group, and the 3D wireframe does not. The, th the 3D wireframe, you can easily edit by just selecting these polylines here and removing them. The 2D wireframe, since it's a group, you would have to explode this group, which make sure you have enough computing power to do so. Now, just import the wireframe into SketchUp Layout, and you're all set. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We're always happy to help. Thanks so much for watching.